I wanted to bring to the symposium a new vision, a vision that if we want to have food security, if we want food security and jobs, if we want to have food security jobs and healthy food and sustainability, then we need to do more than simply getting higher productivity of crop. We need to look at what is the ecosystem capable of producing for us. And the first thing we have to do is really put the finger at some strange behaviors we have, like killing fish with eggs. I mean, we would never kill a cow with a calf uh, expected in a few days. But we do that with fish because we don't have the right techniques. And I think we need to wake up that many of the things we accept today as being the way to do it and the way we've always done it, then let's do a little bit better, that that is not good enough. We need to have a fundamental shift in the way we approach our food, jobs and health requirements. To me, the first and foremost responsibility of biotechnologies is serve society in the broadest sense. The second, of course, is to look at how can we do much more with what we have. You know, it's fascinating that in nature everything evolves from scarcity to abundance. Always. I mean, even in the desert there is very often an abundance that we don't see because we come from a region with four climates. And so if you've grown up in a region of four climates, you don't see the abundance that is created in an environment like a desert. And so, to me, Biotechnologies also have to bring place and time-based solutions. You can't have one solution that is now going to roll out in the whole world. We need to bring things that are really adapted to the time and the place of where we are. And, and it's in that context that, that we not only need to bring to the farmers what we think we can bring, we need to be prepared to listen to what the farmers can bring to us. Coffee is a typical example. When we drink a cup of coffee, we in the end of the day only consume 0.2% of what the farmer harvested. I mean, 99.8% is wasted? I mean, who invented the value chain? Of course the farmer is never going to survive really well. He's not going to be able to send his kids through university when we only give value to 0.2%. So the first responsibility I think science has to bring is how can we generate value to the complete biomass that is generated through a farming process. But value added, not just blow it back into the soil as a compost, not just uh, using it as a biomass for burning. We need to generate value added. And, and that is what we are focusing on. We need to generate much more value added. The biotech of the future is the biotech where we succeed in identifying what are all the opportunities within a simple product like a coffee bean. And we can do the same for tea, we can do the same for corn, we can do the same for fish, we can do the same for everything. We need to realize that it's not about increasing the productivity of that one species but how the value chain and everything that is generated can be increased dramatically so that you have so much more value that you can generate more jobs and you can really generate development.